And we gotta start this fast now. Let's get this cranked up. Let's make this physical, make it bloody, man. Bring it up, man. Let's go. Bring it up. Let's go. Titans on three. One, two, three. Wilson hit as he throws it into the end zone, and it is nearly intercepted by Kalu. That's the ball, Lou. You really gotta get in the drug machine, bro. I thought you about to come in her on uh, It's the game right here, fellas. Let's go. Firing downfield. It's tipped and intercepted by Mitchell. Get out. Get out. Hey, man, that's what a family do right there. We battle to the end, man. Stick together. We got a short week. Gonna get another dub in Lambeau, man. Part of that defense, taking a closer look at Tim Byard and what he's been able to do. Leading tackler three straight seasons for the Titans this week. It has been awesome, Baldy. We're headed into the film room. You're up, my friend. Mike, I'm really excited today to introduce this guest, a good friend of mine, Kevin Byard. Kevin, two-time All-Pro. The accolades go on and on and on. But the most important thing right now, Mike, is you're in the film room with me today, and you're going to be able to break down some film, some special plays of yours. But before we get to the film, Kevin, I mean, last year didn't go great for the Titans. A lot of injuries. Danico went down. Harold Landry went down. Simmons wasn't healthy. You're in the back end trying to hold it together. What did it look like this offseason, getting a lot of those guys back healthy right now? Yeah, last year, you know, we obviously battled a lot of injuries. Uh, I, actually, the past two years, we battled a lot of injuries. And uh, it was kind of frustrating the way we ended the year. Uh, but I think a lot of guys kind of took it, you know, the initiative for themselves to make sure when they came back in the spring and just throughout OTAs and minicamp, you know, the conditioning every single day, variable is conditioners at the practice. You know, guys are pushing sleds, you know, on Thursdays and Fridays and things like yeah. that. So I think one thing that the coach and Brave was trying to express to for the entire team is building the callus earlier in the offseason as far as your training and really pushing yourself. So when it comes time to training camp, and we all know uh, the Tennessee Titans, uh, our team is all about effort and finish. And uh, that's one thing that everybody has to continue to train their bodies for the long haul because at the end of the day, we want to be playing all the way up until February. So uh, I think guys really uh, took that to heart and, and conditioned and prepared the right way. All right, Kevin, I'm not going to make you push any sleds, but we're going straight to the film room here. Because this first play it. is a great play. It's against Justin Herbert and the Chargers, and you're back in a cover two shell. Tell me what you see and what you love about this coverage. Yeah, so one thing I love about the coverage is, at first, it's just the disguise. You know, obviously, the quarterback is seeing two safeties deep, so obviously he has, uh, he thinks that he has a certain route or a certain play that he can go to on that situation. And uh, as a free safety man, this is a dream. You, be, you get to play back, play with some depth, be able to read the quarterback's eyes and see everything in front of you. And that's just what I was doing there, man. I was able to make a great break on the ball. Obviously, Justin Herbert was throwing the dick route because he thought he had, you know, the open middle of the field open with our two linebackers going out wide. And I was just able to beat the receiver uh, to the spot. And it was a great play. And it was a, it was a really crucial moment in that game because we really needed a big play. Well, let's go to another crucial moment against the Raiders this past year. Because anytime you can take touchdowns away, like here you are, you got Waller coming over motion. You got a wide, wide formation with Moreau and Waller both crossing your face. What do you see right here? What are you looking at as Carr releases this ball? Yeah, I mean, that's one of my favorite things is to be back in zone cover so I can have my eyes on the quarterback. And obviously, getting close to the red zone, you just said it, being able to take points off the board. We want to defend every blade of grass. We obviously at first probably want to make him kick a field goal, but if we could turn the ball over, that's what we want to do. So I was able to see the receiver come in motion, and uh, as I seen him cross my, you know, my vision, I'm obviously having my eyes on the QB and just following him. Uh, seeing the ball get tipped up in the air, man, I just went and uh, went and made a play. That's kind of what I do for a living. Kevin, you you forgot 28 interceptions in the last six years, second most in the NFL. A lot of them are tip balls. I mean, I imagine yep. that you do the tip ball drill. You got great hands. You got great eye-hand coordination. That's got to be a big plus for you. Yeah, that's something we practice weekly, honestly. Uh, we have a little drills that we do uh, before our practice where we call it ball disrupting drills. Sometimes it's working on our staff where we're trying to punch the ball out as the receiver's trying to catch the ball. Then other days it's tip passes. Uh, so it's something that we work on as a team, as an entire staff, and it's definitely paid off for a guy like me. I just, I, But I, I will say that I definitely think that God just gave me a uh, certain skill set to be able to track the ball and be able to make a lot of plays and always be around the ball. Let's go to this next play here, Kevin, because I love this. I love this read of yours right here. Okay, this is this is uh, against Dak Prescott right here. There's 20 seconds to go and a half. You got to know the situation. You got Dalton Schultz man-to-man -man right here, and you jumped this route. 
Did you anticipate yeah. it going to the sideline like that because of the time, no timeouts on the clock? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Even on this play, like, obviously, this is a two-minute drill. Uh, they're trying to get some points before the half. And one thing I feel right. like with, for my, my position and just who I am as a player, one thing I always try to work on is my man coverage skills. And obviously, I know every single week, I'm the guy that when I see a top tight end on that team, I want to cover him every single week. And so, obviously, I had Dalton Schultz that week. Um, just playing my man, just trying to play in, stay in square, stabbing and stuff like that. And obviously seeing him break, I, I was covering him so good. I was able to actually cover my man, but also look back at the quarterback. And so once I seen Dak throwing the ball, you know, I just kind of zoned and I tried to go score, but, uh, I kind of fell back cause I let the offensive lineman tackle me on the sideline. So. All right. You heard about that in the film room the next day. All right. So <laughs> yeah, here you are did. clueing here. I, I heard it on the sideline. I know you did. I know you did. Uh, get to the sideline, pick up a convoy. Let's go to this play here, Kevin, because this is this is prime time. This is Sunday night football in America. Sunday night. Yep. These are the world champions. But on this play right here, Woods came in motion, and you're cluing the quarterback again. You're watching Stafford. Are you looking at his feet, his shoulders? What are you reading here, Kevin, to get you that jump? Man, I would say this is the prime definition of what I would refer, refer to being in a flow state. I was honestly reading everything from pre-snap motion to, I mean, you don't see it right here, but Stafford was initially under center. And when I seen him motion, he kind of check, check, went into the gun. I figured this has to be a pass. He's not going to he's not gonna check and go into a gun and run the ball. It didn't really make sense. Uh, so I kind of just read his eyes, and he kind of did a quick three-step drop. And he was already had his shoulder open to the sideline looking at Robert Woods. And in the back of my mind, I was saying that if this Robert, if Robert Woods runs this speed out, I am gone. Like, I'm just like, I'm just going to break on it. And I had broke even before the quarterback threw the ball. And, you know, I just went and made a big play. On Sunday Night Football, man, one of my uh, all-time favorite interceptions. And your only touchdown so far. I, there's more to come. Yes. Here's what I'm going to go to. Yeah. I'm going to go to my favorite play of yours, Kevin. Back when your first year of starting, you lead the league in interceptions. You're playing Baltimore. They're in a wide-wide formation. You're looking for work here. There's no action. But you're all about the action. So you go looking for work. Tell me what you see and why you made this move right here 40 yards down the field. Yeah, man, especially as a defensive back, man. If you're on one side and everybody's blocking, obviously the tight end's blocking, he's not releasing. The first thing they teach you is run high, go look for work. And this is a two-man route concept, on obviously, on the left side of the field. And so, like you said, man, I'm just going looking for work. Obviously, my responsibility is to the right side. Nobody released, so I'm just going to go help my other guys in. Just like you said, man, tip passes, man, you have to have those. And Logan Ryan was able to make a great play on the ball, kind of tipping it up for me first by hitting the receiver. And I was able to finish to make the play. Um, that was an incredible year of 2017 right there. I think I had two interceptions that game, too. Well, you had you led the league in interceptions back then, <laughs> uh, Kevin, with, with eight that year. I'm sure you're looking to do that again. You're a true thief, but you're also a gentleman and a scholar. I thank you for joining me here in a breakdown session, Kevin. You're welcome to come back here anytime and break down any film. We could show 100 tackles, tip balls, a lot of other plays that you've made, but we want to see the Tennessee Titans get back to playing Titan style of football, brother. Yeah, 100%. I appreciate the invite, and like you said, man, hopefully this upcoming season with a great season for myself and obviously the team, uh, we'll be able to break down a lot of good film again. So, uh, like I said, thanks for having All me, right. Baldwin. All right, you got it, Kevin. Mike, why don't you take it away?